Stand right in front. Oh, there can you take your full name? Catherine Shaver. Shaver. All right. Um, you still live on Benita Street? Yes, sir. And uh, confirming that is space number. Give me a moment. Twenty-six. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. And do you have an email address? Yes, sir. Can I get that, please? At Gmail. <coughs> Gmail. Yes. All right, thank you. <coughs> Your phone number ends in 9571? Yes. Okay. Uh, the state's alleging three charges against you. One of them is a misdemeanor charge. Two of them are felony charges. First, the misdemeanor charge. That is failure to remain at an accident scene involving damaged property. That's a class two misdemeanor. The two felony charges are narcotic drug possession or use. Uh, and the second one is drug paraphernalia possession or use. On all of those charges, you have the right to remain silent, right to counsel, and right to trial. I scheduled you <clears throat> for a arraignment on the misdemeanor charge on the 31st of July at 9 o'clock in the morning. Okay. The arraignment. And I get to go home? You're, you're, you're talking on page 12 when I'm on page 2. So okay. we're, we're nowhere near not talking about that yet. So don't even think about whether you're getting out or not. Listen to what I'm saying instead. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So the arraignment that is scheduled for July 31st is mm -hmm. where you'll need to be prepared to plead either guilty, not guilty, or no contest. Depending on how you plead will be what happens next with the court proceedings, okay? Yes, sir. Your release conditions are as follows on the misdemeanor charge. Obey all orders of the court. Do not commit any crimes. Notify the court. If your address changes, do not leave the state of Arizona without permission of the court. Do not have any contact with the alleged victim in any manner. That's on the misdemeanor charge. Now, regarding your felony charge, now you asked about getting out. So on the misdemeanor charge violation, I'm releasing you on your own recognizance. You're not remaining in custody on the misdemeanor charge. Now we're going to talk about the felony charges. Okay, I've scheduled you for a preliminary hearing on the 22nd of July. Okay, that's at 4 o'clock p.m. The preliminary hearing is where a prosecutor or a state representative will present testimony and evidence to a judge or to a grand jury to determine if there's probable cause to charge you with those felonies. If there is probable cause, your case will be bound over to the Gila County Superior Court. If there's not probable cause, the two felony charges will be dismissed and that will conclude it. <clears throat> Your release conditions on those two charges are obey all orders of the court, not commit any crimes, notify the court immediately if your address changes, do not leave the state of Arizona without permission of the court, do not possess, consume any alcohol or drugs without a valid prescription, and do not possess any firearms as a felony allegation. On those felony charges, I am placing a $1,500 bond on you, so you'll remain in custody unless you, hold on, hold on. You'll remain in custody unless you post that bond, or what will happen is, since you're remaining in custody, the county attorney is required to file a formal complaint against you within 48 hours of the date and time of this hearing. If they don't file the formal complaint, you'll be released on your own recognizance. If they do file the complaint, then you'll have uh, the potential to have a court-appointed attorney appointed to your case, and they'll review the bond. Do you have a question? I do. Um, I, I, with all due respect, Your Honor, I have some reasons why I should be able to go home. 
I have no money. I have, um, my husband is disabled and elderly, and the state pays me to take care of him. Is that uh, the other, the co-defendant? Yeah. Okay, well, we've got, uh, he's in custody also, so you don't have to do that. Yeah, but he he has fewer charges than me, so I... I okay, I, well, you won't have to worry about that as of now, okay, so the... the also, have, I have a little cat, and I have absolutely no one to take care of her. Okay, uh, so, ma'am, those are not going to be valid reasons that you're being released, and here's why. Here, hold on, hold on, you're still wanting to talk, hold on. You have a, a substantial criminal history with failure to appears on your record. These charges are felony charges, so we can't have that happen on these charges. So that's number one, okay? The second portion of that is, since you're in custody, I have to ask you some questions regarding your finances to see if you qualify for the court-appointed attorney. So if that complaint is filed within the 48 hours, your attorney can look to see uh, on a bond review for you, okay? So I need to ask you questions on that financial statement. I have been planning to go up as far as the fentanyl um, to treatment next week. Well, that's but, great, but it's a little bit, of, it's a week too late because here you are with the allegations of these charges against you. So it's not going to change the bond right now, all right? Let me ask you some questions regarding your finances. Please raise your right hand. I need to administer an oath. I got to be able to see your hand. Thank you. Do you solemnly swear the information you're providing the court regarding your finances to be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yes. What is your marital status? Single, married, partnered, separated, or divorced? I'm married. Okay. How many other people do you financially support? None. Okay. Do you have a job? Yes. Okay. What do you do? I take care of my husband. What does that pay you? Minimum wage for 14 hour, hours a week. Okay, and so what is your approximate monthly take home pay? Um, How much do you get paid per week or every other week? Every other week I get $300, about okay, so, $300. So roughly $600 a month? Yeah. Okay. Do you have income from any other sources like Social Security, food stamps, investments, disability, or unemployment? My husband's food, uh, Social Security. Okay. How much is that income? Um, 1100 Any other sources of income of those benefit programs? Do you own a house? No. Do you have any bank or retirement accounts? No. Oh, bank account. Okay. Um, it, it's a regular checking account? Yes. What is the balance in the account, roughly? About a dollar. One dollar? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have any outstanding loans? Um, our storage unit. Now, is that an expense or a loan? It's an expense. Okay, so we'll get to that here in a moment. Do you have any loans? No. Okay. All right, so the total amount of all of your monthly expenses, not just your storage unit, but anything else you pay on a cell phone, electric bill, or anything, what do you think that monthly average is? At least a thousand. Okay. Okay, the court finds with the financial information you provided the court that you do qualify for a court-appointed attorney. So I'll send this report to the Office of Indigent Legal Services, and what will happen is if that complaint is filed within 48 hours, they'll assign the attorney to your case at that time. If the complaint is not filed within 48 hours, then the case is not filed, but they can file it up to uh, seven years from the date of your arrest, okay? At that time, if they do file it, then you're, you, we can review this information again to, uh, about the appointed attorney. Do you understand that? 
I do. Um, I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really needing to go home. I, I can't stay here. There's a, a couple things with about the jail that um, I want to share. Well, um, I don't, I don't, you might want to share those with the detention staff. Okay? All right. So if you have complaints or any of the things that are taking place on at the jail, make sure you tell the detention staff regarding that. And, um, but uh, otherwise the bond remains in place. You're released on the misdemeanor. I don't have that kind of money. I don't have that money and I don't have family. I have no family. I understand. So what will happen is you'll remain in custody until your next court date or if they don't file that complaint in 48 hours, okay? That'll be all, ma'am. Have a good day. Okay.